Hello and welcome to Fat Pod. I'm Stephen and recently I've been to a convention. So before we get started, as you can tell, Danny is not with me today and that is because he's come down with a bug and is not feeling well. So Danny, hope you get better soon, mate, so you can come back here and make me look good. But anyway, last weekend I went to a convention in a town near us called Kettering Con. Um, within the Kettering Con I didn't really buy anything. I did vlog the experience and in the vlog I did do mention that I did want to get some stuff but in the end I just didn't get anything because one I didn't have the money on me and two I'm saving up for a figure so I just didn't get anything so I have nothing to show but I do have some shout outs um before I show you the vlog I just want to make two personal shout outs to the com and to geekology because these two have helped me with a lot of my collections in terms of getting pop vinyls so I just want to make a personal shout out to them and after the vlog I've also got some leaflets with some shout outs on there for you guys as well. So there's some websites there for you guys to check out. But first, let's check out the vlog. been to this convention before but as you can see it's pretty big there's quite a lot of stores going on here um, I'm sorry if you can't hear me but I'm gonna try my best to kind of vlog it here um, there's quite a few nice stuff going around we've got we've got some Star Wars stuff over here which is quite nice we've got Jabba the Hutt over here mum mum well, yeah that's pretty cool um, I'm gonna go around and have a look at some of the stores and I'll I'll record what I can basically. So yeah. Okay, so I just had a quick look around and there's quite a lot of different stuff. I thought it was gonna be like little stores which just pops on, but it's actually bigger than I thought. Um, we've got a range of um, anime stuff which I might look up for a friend of mine called John. There's uh, so I might have a look over there at some anime stuff for him and potentially another friend of mine, Hannah and Leanne, because they're all into their anime stuff, so I might have a look at them. There's also a few weapon stores as well. There's a few pop stores, which I might go and look at because my pop collection is slowing down slightly, so I might try and get some ink. And there's some celebrities here. We've got um, we've got a car from Primeval, which is quite cool. So I might go get a picture with him because I was, I used to watch that when I was younger. There's some figures. I've seen some really nice ornaments and stuff as well. With there's um, a few Batman things for Danny. I'm just going to go to a few stores and show you what they've got. This store here has a Legend series Iron Man helmet. This is a company called Geekology. Uh, they do have a Facebook page. I have seen it, so go check them out because they have helped me quite a lot of stuff. Uh, they've got a few pop finals as well. Um, there's none there that I see that I that I need or want because I've got the majority of these ones. But um, there are luckily there are a few pop stores about that I can kind of check out. Got some uh, Gremlin stuff going on here. With some Batman cards, some more pops, Walking Dead. And a few hats as well. I was thinking of getting that um, Deadpool one over there because I do quite like it, but at the same time, I love my Ant-Man one too much. <laughs> and what's really cool is I've just found an awesome store that Danny would absolutely love. Um, and there's a few bits on there as well that I'll personally like as well. Uh, it's this store over here. So if you guys have been watching the channel, Danny's been trying to collect Kenner figures. And on this store, they have some of the old Kenner figures. 
There's quite a lot here, which is quite cool as well. There's some of these that I know Danny would absolutely love. I mean, I believe that this one here is one of the first ones he had. Um, but I don't know for definite. There's loads of different types of Batmans. You've got the deep dive Batman there. Some animated series stuff. I might have to try and uh, get something for Danny from over here. But yeah, that'd be quite that'd be quite cool to check out for him. There's quite a lot of cosplayers here and it's kind of picking up a little bit so I might try and get some footage with some cosplayers just for a uh, just to kind of give a little bit of a show off to them because some of the costumes are really good and it's something that I probably would never do so it would be quite cool just to get them involved as well. Why did you retire? Why? Tell me. Why? It's the actual best. Oh, I think it's going to kill me. I'm getting out of here. Um, I've just come to a stall and it is filled with pop vinyls and loads of different figures. There's a few Harry Potter bits down here as well. Um, so, I'm going to have a look here because I think I've seen a few that I want from the store. So, I'm just going to quickly show you guys what the kind of thing they've got. So, we've got a few um, Harry Potter bits down here. We've got some sort of Superman plaque going on, which is quite cool. And then there's just loads and loads of pops as well. And it's all down here. We've got some Harry Potter ones as well. They've got quite a lot of Harry Potter stuff, so if you're a Harry Potter fan, it's definitely quite cool. There's some figures up there as well, there's Batgirl, got the Flash down there, Harley Quinn, Superman, Wonder Woman, which is quite cool. I am thinking of getting this pop here because I haven't got this pop and I'm and I'm wanting it. <laughs> So I might get that for my collection, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I've got some Suicide Squad stuff. That's cool up there, I like that. Over on the other side, we've got some more pops as well, which is quite nice. Some a Thor Ragnarok over there with the Grandmaster, which is quite nice. Yeah, I think I might grab that Sonic if I don't see anything else. But I'll have a look around a bit more first. That pop stand I was just looking at, I just want to make a massive shout out to them because they have helped me with some of my collection before. Check out the filmcell.com. The filmcell.com have helped me out with quite a lot of my collection. They they do deliver if you're local as well, which is quite cool. So go check out their Facebook page. Um, we'll put a link in the description for that so you can go check out some of their products. So earlier on I mentioned that I had a few friends that was into anime and their kind of Japanese kind of culture so there's a stall here which have quite a few bits on there that they might like so here's some uh, kind of Japanese sweets down here I have had some of these before but this one here get the one with the Halloween on it it's this basically cola flavoured marshmallow. Yeah. That's, Ooh. That's nice. I've never had a marshmallow with Coca Cola flavour, so. Oh, it's, it's a marshmallow? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, you have a shout out for your channel? If you could just say. Yeah. Um, we've got um, 
a channel here. Go check them out. They've given me some freebies for giving them a shout out, which is quite nice, so I do owe them. And they are letting me film their stand. There's some nice little key rings down here. I've got a Snorlap from Pokemon. I know Hannah's a massive fan of Pokemon. I've got some nice, uh, nice little plushies over here. I know um, some of my friends have some of these stuff, so I don't exactly know what they have or haven't got, which I'm kind of worried about. Because <laughs> if I was going to get them anything, I don't exactly know what to get them. But um, but anyway, just go check out that link. I'll show it again. Go check that out because these guys are very nice. They've given me some freebies to check out. And the stand's really nice as well. So go check them out if you're into all your anime stuff and your Japanese stuff. Here is it. Here is it. It's Danny. Obviously, Danny's here doing some artwork, so we can't walk around with me, which is why I'm going around on my own. How's it going, Danny? Well, yeah, man, good. Good. A little slow to start with, but it was early morning. But getting this dead up, we've done now with someone. Hey, so I've just left, so I'll probably get back to you back in the studio. See you later. So yeah, that was my experience. There was quite a lot of stalls there, um, with loads of different figures, loads of pops, and it was actually quite interesting to see. I haven't been to that convention before, which is weird, because it was local to me, and that was the first time I ever went. Some of them had really good stalls, and some of them had interesting stuff. There was that Kenner figure. I saw some... Spider-Man stuff from the 90s they had, they had some figures and Danny bought me one of them for my collection and he was just like oh you can start another collection but when I looked at it I was like do I want it do I want it and then I just didn't get one in the end which was stupid of me because I could have done um I don't think Danny got a kind of figure in the end um I can't remember off the top of my head no I don't think he did but he did have a look and he did create like um he had a good chat with the guy on the stall, so I think he's going to contact him and they're going to have a few um, deals and stuff, which would be quite cool for Danny to build up his collection. And throughout the whole kind of um, convention, we managed to get some different flyers. So, AGB autographs, I believe that's what it's called, autographs, yes. Um, I had a look on their store and they sell pop vinyls and other figures, I believe, with loads of different autographs on it from celebrities and stuff like that. So go check them out because they, if you're obviously a collector of autographs, they they probably have most of the stuff. Go check these guys out because some of the pops they had, they were quite interesting. They had a few Games of Thrones, Harry Potter. They had like a whole massive collection of different pots signed. I did ask for a Paul Rudd one, but you know, I didn't get one. Anyway... Um, the guy in the Green Power Ranger costume, he's actually got his own podcast called Gritty Glitter Podcast. I've actually checked them out and we're subscribed to them. So we've got a little connection going on there. So we might invite them onto the show one time to do a podcast with us. Or they might invite us, but we don't know yet. But yeah, so go check them out. I have looked at some of their videos. They're mainly off iTunes and I think they've recently started a YouTube channel. But we'll put both links of their channels in the description so you guys can go check them out yourselves um we've also found a retro arcade now these guys do t-shirt printing they do snapbacks they do hoodies they do t-shirts so what we're thinking of doing which is kind of a news kind of section of this episode we're going to be contacting them and getting some merchandise of our fat pod logo so We'll probably get some ourselves, and then if you guys like them, we'll probably get some more, and we can sell you guys some of some of their stuff with our logo on it. So that'd be quite cool. The guy that had the Kenner um, figures, he's called Jimmy's Drop Shop. So go check them out. Well, I think they're eBay based. I think they have their own store. I don't know. I haven't really looked this one up. But yeah, go check them out because they did have quite a lot of figures and they have quite a lot of other retro stuff as well. 
they, like I said, they had the Spider-Man figures. They had a few other Batman stuff. So you're a Batman collector, a Spider-Man collector. I think they had a, a Chucky doll, I believe. So, yeah, have a look at them because they were quite interesting to see. Um, and lastly, the last leaflet I got was hate. I don't know how you say this. H art or heart independent artists um they had some amazing artwork when i had a look at their stall they do it with them beads that you put on a little thing and then you iron it and it just all sticks together but they had quite a lot of stuff they had um they had the joker they had a few batman stuff um a few marvels doctor who star wars they had quite a lot so have a look at them and we'll put all of these links in our description for you guys to check them out now this is the bit that I'm kind of worried about because I don't know what my reaction will be. But within the vlog, there was a Japanese stall called Kantan Living, I believe it was called. But if I'm saying that wrong, I do apologise. But they gave me some freebies for giving them a shout out. Now, I did say in the vlog that it was their channel, but it's not a channel, it's a website. But they gave me some freebies. So I've never had these before. So right here... Right now, I'm going to try them. So we've got a marshmallow with Coca-Cola flavoured and some sort of wasabi thing. So I'm more worried about the wasabi, so I'm going to go with the marshmallow first, but that's because it's marshmallow when I'm fat and I like marshmallow. And I don't even know if these are in date, but I believe they are, but I don't know how Japanese dates work, so I hope they're in date. So the Coca-Cola Marshmallow, mm. it's got a bit of red in it and tastes like Coca-Cola. Mm. That's not bad. Quite like that. That wasn't too bad, actually. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nice. Wasabi. I'm really nervous about this. The guy said something about it being some sort of fish. I don't really... Whoa, that had a strong smell. It looks like a kebab. <laughs> it looks like a kebab strip. I can't... I can't explain the smell. Oh, shit. Tough. Holy shit, that's spicy. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not good with spicy foods. I can't even explain it. It tastes like vinegar. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that taste. <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I'm not having any more of that. Mm. <laughs> I didn't like that. Mmm. But if you like wasabi, good on you. Mmm. That was horrible. Uh, right, okay. Compose myself. Yeah. I'm gonna go and brush my teeth right now because I don't want that taste in my mouth. But yeah, I don't think I'll ever get them ever again. But go check out that Canton Living. They had a few more foods on there. And they had a few like plush things of anime characters. So go check them out. Um and Joe, yeah, it was a really good event. So if you have a local convention in a local town that you've been to um, put in the comments section your experience and what that was like and join us next time when we'll probably do another vlog at a convention and hopefully I won't be given any more of that stuff. So please like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.